Hi, St. Mark's. A friend recently sent me an article about hymns during a pandemic and what hymns might mean for us, especially since we can't gather together safely and sing hymns. And this article reminded me of two hymns that are Lutheran hymns traditionally, but of course they're in our hymnal, we sing them as well, that were written during a time in Europe that not only was there turmoil um, religiously because it was the Reformation, but there was turmoil politically, there was turmoil because the plague was striking. These two hymns are A Mighty Fortress and Now Thank We All Our God. The first of these hymns is Martin Luther's A Mighty Fortress. It's hymn number 688 in our hymnal if you want to look it up. This was Martin Luther's most popular hymn, but we know relatively little about it and the circumstances under which he wrote it. Most scholars think it was written between 1521 and 1529, and the majority of scholars think it was 1527 or 1528. At that point in Martin Luther's life, several things were happening that um, may have prompted the need for this hymn. One of his followers was martyred in 1527, a plague broke out in Wittenberg. In December 1527, Luther wrote to a colleague, we are all in good health except for Luther himself, who is physically well, but outwardly the whole world and inwardly the devil and all his angels are making him suffer. A few days later, Luther wrote that he was undergoing a period of temptation that was the worst he had experienced in his life. The word Luther used in German can mean temptation or trial, but it also refers to anything that causes anxiety, doubt, fear, suffering, or terror in a person's life. In December 1527, Martin Luther's daughter Elizabeth was born, but she was sick and she died in May 1528. Many people think of this hymn as the battle hymn of the Reformation, in fact, in a modern context, it's, of, it's often sung on Reformation Sunday, which occurs at the end of October in the Lutheran calendar. Rather than there being one single event that sparked Martin Luther to write this hymn, it's perhaps the combination of the plague, losing a child, controversies in the church, and other struggles in his life that may have caused Luther to write this hymn of protection and hope to cling to God's word and truth in spite of the stresses of this life. I'll play the hymn as we sing it today, which is hymn number 688, followed by the original rhythm that Martin Luther wrote, and that's hymn number 687. And then I will follow those two with an ornamented chorale prelude by Dietrich Buxtehude, which is based on the original rhythm.
Now the second hymn that this article recommended in a time of pandemic is called Now Thank We All Our God, another Lutheran favorite. It was written by Pastor Martin Rinkert. He was an accomplished musician who studied at the University of Leipzig and spent most of his career as a musician and archdeacon in the city of Eilenburg during the Thirty Years' War. During the war, refugees inundated the city. Plague swept through the city. Rinkert was the last pastor in the city and performed nearly 50 funerals per day at the height of the plague, and more than 4,000 funerals in that year, including that of his wife. Rinkert's text was combined with a tune by Johann Kruger and originally appeared in 1547 and was given the title Tischgebetlein, which is a short prayer before meals or a table grace. By 1648, the hymn was so popular that it was sung when the Peace of Westphalia was signed. It was also sung widely when celebrating the victory over Hitler and the Nazis when they were defeated in the Second World War. The translation in the hymnal 1982 was translated in the late 19th century by Catherine Winkworth, a wonderful translator of hymns, and you've seen her name show up in music notes many times. I'll do a similar thing with this hymn as I did with the previous one. I'll play it the way that we sing it here at St. Mark's. I'll play the original as it was written by Johann Kruger, and then I will play a setting of the chorale by Johann Sebastian Bach from his cantata number 79, arranged by Wilbur Held. <laughs> 